Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for May 7th to the 20th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you do is click the join button below. And if you'd like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Feel free to check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. And remember, what are we gonna go over today? We're gonna to go over assessment of your connection. Okay, so what's currently going on? What's the blockage? What's, what do they need to make this connection work? What's the influence here? How do they feel about you? What's gonna happen in the time period of May 7th to the 20th? And then we're gonna jump onto our singles. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way for our bi-weeklies, hit that like button, let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. Gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th. What's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. It's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th. Gemini's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. One more time, Gemini. It's gonna be Gemini's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. And then how does my Gemini's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does my Gemini's love interest feel about my Gemini's romantically? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. Let's put those there for now. What's currently going on with this connection? Mmm. They want your attention. Six of Wands energy. There's a sense of a victory here. Definitely, you can see there's people surrounding you and they definitely want your attention there. Six of Wands energy, definitely a victory here. Yep, and it looks like timing is a factor here. Mm -hmm. So things are moving in your favor when it comes to this connection, there's a sense of victory, there's a sense of, mm, I want your attention, I want to be right, that's Six of Wands energy. Three plus seven is eight, nine, 10. I want to complete this for healing and recovery and love. Let's see what the blockage is here. Mm the sense of heartache here the sense of longing here three of swords energy more than one choice or option because remember three of swords can also indicate a third party situation okay and something secret here book card energy secret heartache here that also could be the case too or secrets because of the third party okay let's see what this person needs to make the connection work okay they need um they need you to get over some hurt or pain or to complete something first to start anew. Ten of Swords energy because this is the card of getting over some things that happened to you and overcoming that, right? This is a person who's in mourning and they have to get over this hurt and pain. Ten of Swords energy. Yeah, overcoming blocked chilies and challenges. So for some of you, definitely there's another person involved here. Okay, so it's timing or something to do with timing is a factor here, something secret. There's a victory here, or, oh my God, I want your attention, but I have a sense of heartache because there's more than one choice or option. Let's see what the influence is here. Mm. King of Cups energy, wow. This is definitely a sense of, this is a wise decision when it comes to love and romance, but on the same token, or there's even something deeper spiritual here with the cross card energy. So let's take a look at this. There is blockages, delays, and challenges because of burdens and responsibility, uh, which is causing this sense of heartache here or something secret here or trying to gain knowledge about this. There is a sense of, I need to complete this here, get over some hurt and pain because there's wisdom and, and the life experiences that I've gained when it comes to my love and, and romance here, which I had a sense of heartache here. I want your attention here but I have heartache here, or there's more than one choice or option. There's something to do with timing and something yet to be known. Let's see. There's something to do with completion here and more than one choice or option. And someone's like, I need to make a wise choice and a wise decision when it comes to love and romance. Obviously there is love here because the king is the influence. The king of cups is the influence. So we see there's a sense of victory here in some kind of completion or getting over some hurt or pain when it comes to heartache because of wisdom and love and romance. There's timing here, which is causing blocks, delays, and challenges because there's something secret about burdens and responsibilities or something deeper here, something spiritual here. Okay, pretty interesting so far. Okay, so let's see how this person feels about you. Okay, so they feel like they actually want to communicate with you they want to reach out to you they want to send you a letter a message a facebook message a text message there so this person wants to reach out to you because they feel like it's time to cut away from any negative energy here they feel like it's time 
to sever unhealthy attachments and to break a cycle. Also, this for me is like the Knight of Swords energy. They feel like they need to take an action. All right, maybe they, they have a sense that this letter, this message may be an abrupt decision. So that you can be single and available to pursue here. So they want to give you a message about cutting away some unhealthy things so they can be single and available to pursue. This person feels like they want luck to be on their side and they want things to turn in their favor when it comes to you with the Wheel of Fortune card or the Wheel of Luck card. But they just have uncertainty of whether or not this is a true romantic connection here. Mm, interesting. Hmm. And wow, this person does have a lot of chemistry and passion for you with the sexual union card. Okay. They have strong passion and strong physical connection with you. Okay. So hoping things turn in their favor with strong passion, strong physical connection. Mm. This uncertainty about is a letter or a message about being single and available to pursue. Cutting away some things that are unhealthy so they can have things turn in their favor when it comes to chemistry and passion. Okay. This person feels like they do want to heal this connection. They feel like they are healing and they need time to reflect on that. This person wants to assert themselves to take charge of the situation to be victorious because that's like the chariot card energy in my card, my deck. This person does feel like there's a spiritual connection. There we go with that cross card energy. They feel like there's something deeper here. Mm, okay. All right. So coming to this, the central theme of this, this person doesn't know if there is a true romantic connection obviously because of their past experiences when it comes to wisdom about their past experiences they're like am i making a wise choice and wise decision when it comes to love and romance they feel like they want to cut away some unhealthy attachments so things turn in their favor and they're going to take control of things because definitely they got some passionate chemistry for you there mm -hmm. they want to give you a letter of uh, or a message or something written down here text message facebook message of this healing energy and a sense of a commitment or understanding that there is because for me this is like traditional values marriage traditional uh long-term commitment kind of energy or it's something to do with something spiritual and the sense of are you single and available to pursue because we see a letter a message single and available to pursue mm -hmm. okay so let's move this out of the way So let's see what's going to happen now for the date of May 7th to the 20th here. Okay. So you guys are getting a flirty message here. <laughs> Page of Wands energy. Okay. You guys are getting a flirty message here. Someone's trying to flirt with you with the Page of Wands energy. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they're not doing it in a straightforward way because there's some deceptions around that with the Seven of Swords energy. So mm, someone's not telling the truth here. Some deceptions, the sneaky behavior here. And there's this defensive energy. Am I going to get hurt? Nine of Wands energy. So you get this flirty message, this potential for passion, right? A new path and passion, your exploratory energy here. But it's like, are they being honest with me? Am I going to get hurt here with the Nine of Wands energy? You know, there's this, this flirty kind of energy, this potential for passion, but I need to really analyze, will this fulfill my wishes here? Okay. Mm -hmm. We see a person card coming out. Obviously, someone's flirting with you. And they're trying to gain control of the situation and take a risk here. Yep, they're taking a risk or gamble on you, all right? Uh-huh. Uh, because this person is a little bit why why are they taking risk of gamble? Why this defensive energy? Well, they want this this passionate energy, right? They want to flirt with you, they want this new path and passion, but they're like, all right, I'm taking a risk here. I don't know if I'm gonna get hurt. And also with the bear card energy. All right, so let's talk about the bear card energy with the seven of swords. Well, seven of swords is lying in deception, or it's done in a sneaky way. Okay. But the bear card represents work. So possibly maybe the reason why there is this sense of sneakiness is because it's being done at work for some of you. Or there are some issues around parents for some of you, okay? Because the obviously the bear card energy can represent a mother or a father, okay? So someone's trying to be flirty with you, but then on the same token, they know they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing, okay, for some of you. And also the bear card energy is like this person's trying to find this courage and strength to take a risk on you, okay? They want to go like, all right, let's see what happens with this. Roll the die. <laughs> yep. They've been waiting for that opportunity for you to be single and available or isolate it so they can gain clarity from you. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Swords energy. Mm -hmm. There's some things being revealed with the Sun card energy about changes and improvement with Store card energy and hopefulness with the Wishing Well. They are definitely into you. They're trying to go for that. They're going, they're taking a risk. They're going for it. <laughs> okay. 
All right, my darlings, you know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below, so hit me up in the comments below. And if you like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to stay, stick around for the singles reads because I know you guys have told me before that you know, also sometimes those also resonate for you as well. So you can check that out for more information here. So bear with me while I clear this out of the way and we're gonna move into the singles reads. Very interesting couple weeks for you guys, for sure. Okay, let me clear this out of the way. What's gonna happen with my Gemini Singles Romantic Love Life for May 7th to the 20th? What's gonna happen with my Gemini Singles Romantic Love Life for May 7th to the 20th? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, that would help to have the rest of the cards win it. <laughs> Let's see what those cards were. Ending some kind of hurt and pain when it comes to heartache there because of wisdom and love and romance. All right. What's gonna happen my Gemini Singles Romantic Love Life on May 7th to the 20th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. What's gonna happen my Gemini Singles Romantic Love Life for May 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, there we go. You know what, someone's trying to take some romantic gestures towards you with the Knight of Cups energy. And we see there's butterflies in this card. So butterflies for me represents some kind of changes here. Mm -hmm. And obviously this person is on a path. So you're starting to go on some kind of path here and there are some changes happening for you because of these romantic gestures. Yep, we see a person cards coming out. Some person's definitely trying to be like, hey, what's up? Being friendly, nice, trying to do stuff for you. Okay, your blockage is basically you're trying to analyze this, like what's going on here with this? Why is this person doing this? Mm -hmm. Are they being deceptive to me? Are they being manipulative? You know, are they being a player, right? With a fox card energy, right? Is there some manipulation going on? Are they being honest with me? Okay, so you're kind of like, all right, I need to reveal some truths about this and I need to look at this internally because I need to be smart here and make wise choices and wise decisions because that's the fox. The fox is like, all right, I need to be wise. All right, so your influence in your romantic love life is somebody is trying to hold on to you for a pentacles energy or you're trying to hold on to someone or some situation or even somebody from the past possibly for some of you or maybe you have a particular person in mind you're like, you know, I'm holding out for that particular person for pentacles energy. And we see there's emotions at play that's an influence here. Okay, so this fox card, someone could be deceptive or there's a sense of deception when it comes to this person and emotions. You're trying to look at some things here uh, to reveal, reveal some truths about this romantic gestures and holding on, whether or not you want to hold on to the situation. We see five, some kind of change. Two plus eight is nine, ten. Something to do with completion because a lot of thinking, contemplating, and analyzing here. Okay, what's going to be the outcome? You are not the only sign that gets this outcome. <laughs> there was another sign as well. All right, judgment card energy. Judgment shows me there's some kind of reconciliation happening here, okay? Now, if this isn't somebody from your past, this could be talking about also a healing, a recovery. Things are ruling in your favor, okay? So, yeah, there's... <laughs> Somebody wants to reconcile with you and they're gonna give you some kind of messages here with the Eight of Wands energy. Remember, Eight of Wands from the Tarot is messages, talking, speaking, text message, Facebook message. Well, it's coming in fast and you're not gonna expect it. It's a surprise for you. You look at this person on the card, they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so you're just like, this is unexpected. And there's a sense of, I really wanna be giving to you. Okay, so interesting. This person wants to take care of you. They wanna give you some stuff. They feel like they have a lot to give, okay? So this person wants some kind of thing to rule in their favor because they're gonna be very giving to you. And we come back that Knight of Cups energy. What does the Knight of Cups do? They do these romantic gestures. They wanna help you out. They wanna take care of you, right? And then we got this sense of, I want things to rule in my favor. You're gonna get this message is really gonna be like, whoa, take it back by that. You wanna be giving to me, huh? Six of Pentacles energy, hmm. So we're saying there's some sense of timing here because of a commitment here to this news message or this visit. Mm -hmm. So we see timing is a factor. There's some kind of reconciliation. Things are going to roll in your favor. There's some kind of message or news about a commitment, engagement or marriage, possibly with the ring card energy or timing and a commitment to this news, this message or this visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to hear from them. 
and there's going to be an opportunity here. I want to go with one more card on this. Oh, wow, star card energy tells me it's something hopeful about this, but still kind of going to be confused about this with the clouds card energy because it's something to do with close to home or stability and stableness around this situation. Also, we talked talk about the Six of Pentacles can show something may not be in balance there as well. Something to do with this reconciliation and news or messages about something that needs to be an equal give and take Six of Pentacles energy. Timing is a factor here because of a commitment to news, messages, or a visit. There's hopefulness about this, but the sense of confusion when it comes to house and family or close to home. Mm. Okay, yes, guys, I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your next couple of weeks. Thank you to my members. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you would like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I'll see you guys in another day or two with your weeklies. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon.